Well, good morning, McFly subscribers. And, uh, I'm with uh, Roger here, and we're out. Um, do I disclose the, sh the, the spot? Well, just the Guadalupe. Um, so some spot on the Guadalupe. I'm not going to disclose the exact spot, but I'm sure if you've been here, you probably know exactly where we're at. But Roger said that he caught some nice bass already, but you were here like an hour ago, right? Oh, yeah. Um, so he already was fishing. I came a little late. Um, I'm about an hour drive away, so. Um, but uh, he came, what, like three weeks ago? Yeah. And you caught like a good sized bass, right? Uh, decent. Yeah, yeah. so um, they're out here. Uh, so we want to get out and fish. I don't want to talk too much because I want to fish, but we might be looking at using this spot possibly for the class. So if you guys do want to sign up for the class, um, that we'll all be teaching, it's a beginner's class. So if you know anyone that wants a beginner's class um, or if you want to, um, this might be the spot. We're still trying to narrow this down, but that's that class is coming up soon. So we don't have an exact date yet, but I'll let you guys know as soon as we know. Anyway, I'm um, gonna get out there. Come along. That big cypress. Mm -hmm. Where the branch is coming out of the bottom, that's where I got that bass. Nice. Well guys, so I threw on this uh, fly. A couple um, people had commented when I made this, if you remember just uh, last week that they were worried a little bit about the durability. So we'll see how this works. I mean, even if I, it only lasts two fish, it's worth it if it works, right? But we'll see the durability. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see how it casts, if I get any loops in my fly line or not. Oh. No, it's, it's landing good. Now, got a bite. Ah, oh. pay attention, Sean. I left my sunglasses in the car. I always do that. Actually, I might even put on that other one. I think this top part here is starting to make it twist. But this is not having issues it's staying together so for now this is the one that had the the head a little different um which i actually tied on camera i think this is exactly the one that i tied on camera i had kind of worked this a little bit changed it up a little you can see the difference here you can see how the head is a little different Now I will say it's hard, a little harder to see because it doesn't have that foam on the top. Maybe it's a good idea to put a little dot of foam or a tuft of yarn or something. Now granted guys, this is not salmon fly territory. There's no salmon flies here. It doesn't mean that the fish won't bite it. These sunfish aren't super picky when it comes to what something looks like. Neither are bass. Bass a little more than sunfish, but I can still catch with this. They might think it's a hopper or something like that. Oh, he had it, but didn't get the hook. Yesterday, or maybe the day before, we had 108 degrees where I'm at. And it's like, what? So, first time fishing since my surgery, guys. I'm about a month and a half out since the surgery, so healing up good. Not 100%. Every once in a while, a cast kind of gives me a little bit of discomfort, but I wouldn't say I'm having a whole lot of pain here. So, I am going to switch, I think, up, because I have this, this big fly, salmon fly. And then I'm going to switch up to that... Um, I've got a hopper with the same wing. Mm -hmm. And that should get more bites, I think. But it's durable. All right, guys, so I switched over to this little hopper pattern that I had tied up on camera. So we'll see. Uh, it's the same kind of wing system. So let's see how this, this works.
Oh, there we go. Good one too. Well, not super good, but decent for a uh, sunny. Yeah, I have a pretty good sunny actually. Look at that. Oh, you got one too? Double hookup guys. Woo. See how that handled it. Just fine. It's still, still durable. Oh, did you get them off? Oh, okay. You got him? I thought he came off or something. I wasn't, I was paying attention to mine. <laughs> you got one? Bat, is that a bass? Not good. Son? Not good no. Looks good. Little. <laughs> um, what was that? Sorry. He's got a couple twins. Twins? Yeah, he's got twins. Good boys. They're 12. They feed on three. Nice. Yeah. Oh. That was a good one came up for it. Yeah, there's stuff in there. Ah. No. <laughs> oh, there he goes. So this is not, this is a weight forward, but it's over. So that's the other thing you could do. If you want to get that same effect, you could one up your line. So, cause that brings, that makes it so you can just, um, cause it overloads the line with less, um, less line out, right? So it's all about how much that bends. So if you're casting super far, then you don't want to one up your line. You don't want to, does that make sense? Yeah. Um, but if you're fishing um, close like this, you always, you know, it really is beneficial to have either double taper or one up, you know, one up line. Cause it's easier to load it. Like you can load with less line out when you've got more weight in the line. Does that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> Little guy. My first sunfish was the was the nicest. So I've had like three or four on this one. It's still going strong. So I'm happy with it, guys. I think it's a good fly. I don't think there's any issue with it whatsoever. Let's see if you can hit right next to that. Um, cast right up against that uh, tree. No, you do it. Make for better video. Oh, all these little guys. There's got to be a big one in there. Got him? Nice. Oh.
See? Something good size. Chasing little ones. I see a little baby carp right here. Really? Oh, there you go. I see him. <laughs> Telling you. Oh, sorry, little guy. Slipped out of my hand. You got one? Nice. Not <laughs> do the same thing. No. Justin, I don't know. I don't want to mess up the spot though. You keep fishing. Okay. Well, there goes that spot. Sorry, man. Are you? <laughs> Maybe it chased him over by you. All right. <laughs> See? Yeah, little guy. Yeah, these little sunfish, man, they're kind of kind of dumb dumbs. They don't uh they, they attack everything. They're pretty though, man. Blues and oranges. Whoa, hello. <laughs> that was a it was a bumblebee luckily. I've seen a number of snakes. Snakes here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure they're they're here. Just gotta watch your step, right? Mm -hmm. You see uh, cottonmouths, or is it? Uh, are they just I like? Water snakes, well, yeah. Oh. Already? Yeah, it was good size, and it just didn't. I didn't get them. Didn't get the hook set. Oh, jeez. You want to try the five weight version of this? I don't know if you fished it. Risen's, uh... Yeah, give this a try. See what you think. Hell yeah. Yeah, I just like the roll cap. I mean, that's so nice. Well, so it's a little stiffer of a rod, so it's going to roll cast a little easier. And also it's uplined, yeah. you know? So if you didn't have the upline, that, would, that wouldn't quite be there. Yeah, I know I have that, that lady. Oh. Yeah, I like this, it's good. It's got a... Yeah, it's a good rod. You really got to slow that down, though. How do you slow it down? Oh, just like um, give it a little s second longer, or you know, a little bit longer on the back cast. Because if you if you try to power through that, you got to bend this rod to be able to make it happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it casts well once you do it, and that's not a bad thing. I mean, that teaches kids to. To slow down their cast instead of just kind of power through it, you know. Yeah. You would think, but I haven't. What do you think of that rod? Nice. Have you done a back cast with it? Yeah, there you go. For a hundred bucks, you know, oh, yeah. it's kind of hard to beat. Oh no. 
like the second cast I hang up on a game changer. That bird's kind of stressing out up there, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> now it's laughing at me. <laughs> so someone told me with those, um, what are they, the gator or the gars, um, to just put on a rope yeah. and they, their, their teeth or something get stuck in it or something. Yeah. Where do you go for gar? Dude, right here. Oh, they're in here? Oh yeah. Just, that spot by the truck, by the yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Something jumped. Oh, That was a good, was that a bass? Oh, yeah. How big? Uh, maybe eight, ten inches. I thought I was hooked on something. Yeah. What were you using? It's like, the, it's a streamer, it's when you had streamer like a, it's really bright. Are you, are you getting down deep? Yeah. Okay. Nice. Oh! That was a good fish. Yeah. Am I just not getting deep enough? Probably. That was like a star. Did it? Yeah. Would make sense you lost it then because their mouths are so narrow. It's hard to get a... Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I think it's a gar. I'm looking right at one. It's pretty long and thin. Yeah. Well, guys, so it is getting a little later. Uh, Roger has to get back to a, uh, get into the shop into work. So, and plus, it's getting hot. Um, it's going to be, it's okay right now, but give it another hour, and it's going to be 95 to 100 degrees. So, I think it's time to head in. So, that's what we're going to do. We might hit up a, you know, throw a couple out a couple spots on the way back, but. We're heading in now. Uh, by the way, if you haven't already, check out Risen Fly. Go to www.risenfly.com and type in McFly at checkout. You'll get 15% off of anything you buy in their shop. Uh, they are my sponsor, but that's not why I fish with them. I really like their stuff. So for instance, this Genesis rod, it's $119 after your discount, right around a hundred bucks. And this is a five weight. They make a three weight, I think. I wanna say a four weight, a five weight, a six weight and an eight weight, I, I, I think. So don't quote me though, but um, really good stuff. Um, everything that they sell is really good quality. So definitely check them out. Really honestly, one of the best rods I've ever fished. And for a hundred bucks, kind of hard to beat. Well, anyway, we're heading in. So thanks for coming along guys. If I catch something, I'll bring you along. But um, otherwise, we'll see you guys on the next video. Now you go catch some fish. <laughs> yep. Little guy. <laughs> uh. Those little guys are pretty. Oh shoot, they're pretty. They got like all these blue colors. They're they're nice. There we go. 
a little better not great but a little better oh where oh yeah there we go Oh yeah. Second best one today, <laughs> which that first one I got was pretty decent actually. Okay. <laughs> the bird's saying good job, I guess. Right. 